Tonight, as thousands of migrants pursue their treacherous journey north, new dangers emerging at every turn. In central Mexico, a five-year-old girl from Colombia losing her leg when she tried to board a moving train with her family and fell beneath one of its cars. Migrants who've been walking for days and weeks seen here desperately clinging on top of speeding trains, finding any means possible to carry on the perilous trek. This woman, bloodied and bruised, says she fell trying to get on a train with her family, traveling for the past three months. And this Venezuelan family mourning the loss of their father, who drowned in the Rio Grande just days before Christmas. The heartbreaking cries of his wife and sons after they witnessed the tragedy. Mi niño me dice que necesita su papi, que necesita un abrazo de él. Promising to keep traveling to the U.S. border in his honor. Tenemos que seguir acá en este país porque eso era lo que él quería. And for those who do survive, many have no place to sleep, as migrant camps such as this one in Matamoros get torn down and flattened to rubble. Pero uno de los motivos por la que decidan que esté eh, esa área despejada pues para tener un mejor control y una mejor vigilancia del área. With the cold winter months setting in, migrants huddling by makeshift bonfires to stay warm, preparing for yet another day of unforgiving desert terrain. And as the humanitarian toll grows, a new legal battle heating up between Texas Governor Greg Abbott and the federal government. The Department of Justice threatening to sue if Texas enforces a new controversial law known as SB4, which gives state officials the ability to arrest and deport migrants on criminal charges on a state level. A law the DOJ says violates the U.S. Constitution. And tonight, in response to that threat from the Department of Justice, Texas Governor Greg Abbott posting the following to social media, saying the Biden administration not only refuses to enforce current U.S. immigration laws, they now want to stop Texas from enforcing laws against illegal immigration, going on to say that President Biden is destroying America. Again, this law wouldn't go into effect until March of 2024, but that deadline, January 3rd, just days away, this could be the latest element pitting Texas against the federal government yet again. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.